Hello, and today we're going to get started on our inventory system. So, for an inventory system, uh, like I said with the previous one, for all these systems, um, we want to use dictionaries because um, dictionaries are your best friend in this sort of thing. Inventory item. Uh, underscore name, underscore sprite, uh, underscore, no, no, what else, underscore description, and underscore ID, I guess, so the ID can be used to, um, check that what you're doing is uh, you can check uh, if the player has a certain ID in his inventory, right? So, create invent current inventory item. Uh, we'll have name equals name. Right. Oh, no. Right. Right. Equals. Yeah, I know that's a type. What am I doing? Uh, item right equals underscore sprite uh description equals underscore description and id equals underscore id uh we're gonna have funk First up, let's create a variable called inventory. Um, so our inventory will have create current inventory item item. And we will create a a ball, I don't know, a ball with res colon slash slash um icon dot png just use the default uh go dot load go. Good for testing. Uh description a small ball. Uh, and the item ID will be zero. Okay, uh, then we'll have func if player has or does player have item, and that will take a uh, ID. Which C plus plus. Um so the and all we're gonna do in this, right, is um loop through the vertices um using a for loop. So for I in inventory uh I dot if i dot id equals um equals id oh phone's gone Oops. sorry about that so we check if the id is equal to the id then we're going to uh return true if it, that is the case and else return false. Uh, sorry that this is going to be a short one. Uh, I really don't have much time today. Anyway, um, so what we have now is a way to check if the player has an item. Else um, we will return false. Also, we have a way to store items. So next time, all we have to do is render items. Somebody asked how they'd 
uh, interact with these items in the world. Well, if you had an interact that just checked, does player have item? Uh, if you inserted that into the... Um, in, so when a player interacted with an item, then this would probably work. Anyway, I'll probably go over that anyway. So, be a bit patient. See you next week. Yeah. And bye.